Hey guys, welcome to our channel Android Project 360. So before starting the video, I want to say that uh, if you have not watched my previous video, which is Blind Helper application, so please watch that one also. Let's start our video. As you know, this video is all about the Android Blood Bank Management System. And if you search on the Google or any other platforms, you can't find this project because uh, all the features that I have implemented are new. And the main aim of this project is to help the users to find the right blood donor at the right time and by using this application user can see how many number of donors that are available for each blood group they can also send the request for the blood and the database that we are using is the sql server database so here we open our application as you can see this is our splash activity uh, then we have a login page where user can log in or register if you was not registered already so first we will see the registration of the user let's click on the register button here you can see our registration page with the, all the registration details should fill by the user and if user directly click on the register button or uh, we can say leave the all the fields empty then it will go directly to that field which he was leave the empty so here first we enter the name let's say android then email address after that we have another field uh, which is age so if i enter the value of age below 18 and uh, if i go to the next field then it will show the error message that the age must be greater than 18 so we enter some value which is greater than 18 let's say 25 because for blood donation age uh, must be greater than 18 then same here applicable for the contact number that is the contact number must be 10 digit then in the next field we have to enter the address after that uh, we enter the city that we have to enter here the username and the password so let's say you i enter the username hema as this username is already present in our database so let's enter it and if you go to another field then it will check whether the enter username is already present in the database or not and uh, if present then it will clear that username value and in our application username must be unique now enter the new username let's say android 23 then enter the password and password must be four digit and here we select the blood group. Uh, select B positive. After that, next our system generates one unique UID that is the unique identification number of the uh, user. And this number is different for all the users. So our UID is uh, 439. And at last, it will ask you want to be a donor or not. But now we will not select it. After that, we have a profile image. Here we will upload the image. Then uh, click on the register button. As we know that we had not selected the gender while doing the registration, but gender is required. So here we select it. Once again, we will check if all the fields are filled or not. Next, we will click on the register. So it will show the message uh, registration successful now let's check whether our data is inserted in the database or not so here we open the sql server management studio and as you know we have created the three tables so first one is the request table or blood request module then second one is the register table for retrieving the details in the profile module after that we have donor table or the search donor module for creating this table, you have basic knowledge of the SQL queries. So after a successful registration, it will again the open login page. So here we enter the username and the password. So let's enter the username and row 23 and password 4567. After validating the username and password, uh, we enter our home activity, which contains the four modules, blood bank, search donor, then my profile, 
and last uh, is our blood request first we will see the blood bank module so in this module uh, you can watch one video at the top so in this video we can see which blood group can donate the blood to which blood group next we have two columns blood groups and donors and while doing the registration if user had selected that i want to be a donor then user automatically add to the donor table columns that is here it will show the count of that donors after scrolling down you can see here we have blood group values in which we can select one for the sending the request for the blood so here we select uh, blood let's say positive and if you want to send the request then we click on the send request button let's click so after that one dialog box will open and on that it will ask that they enter the reason why you sending the request so here we enter the message or the reason that we are in a read need of a positive third group greatly appreciate help so this is the message that we have to enter here then it will ask would you like to continue so click on the yes yes our request has been sent to the server successfully so like uh, when other users log in in their account so that they can see our request because our request will display publicly in the blood request section and if you want to delete the request then we click on the delete request button but right now we do not delete the request let's go to the blood request module so this is our blood request module as you can see here our request is visible so including the name of the person date and time and the blood group as well and the advantage of this request model is only the today's request are visible so that there is no other traffic of request and if i click on this request then it will display one dialog box on this dialog box you can see that message that we have enter while sending the request and uh, ask to the user are you sure want to contact the person and if i click on yes then it will open the phone dial pad so that user can contact that person for the blood requirement next we will see search donor module so here user will able to see the list of all the donors who are selected as i want to be a donor if i select uh, the blood group let's say positive then you can see the donor list with their name and the city which they belongs to and these donors are added in one list view so let's select one now it will display all the information with their name contact number email address and the blood group on one dialog box and you can see the profile picture of the user at the top if user would like to contact the donor he can simply tap on the yes button then our phone dial pad will open as we have already seen this in blood request module and we have another option is user can click on the mail address and then he will redirect to gmail application for sending the requirements or any other queries regarding the blood so this is our gmail application and here user will enter only the blood group or he can send the message regarding the blood as you know while doing the registration we had selected the blood group b positive now let's select the b positive blood group and yes we have not selected that we don't want to be a donor so that's why our name is not present in this list and if none of the donors are present in the list then it will show the message that there are no donors for the selected blood group next we have profile module and this is the last module so at the top you can see the welcome message and then your username below that this is our profile picture and as you know during the registration we had not selected that i want to be a donor 
and that's why our checkbox is not selected here now we will update our checkbox value so for that we have to just click on the edit button because if you want to update any details we have to just click on the edit and update the details so here i am going to select that i want to be a donor and click on update button then we go to search donor module for selecting the b positive to check whether that we have added in the b positive donor list or not yes as you can see here our name and city is visible here that is we are gonna add it in the b positive donor list of people so just tap for more details yes our all the details are present here including the profile picture if you want to contact then click on yes button next we will update one more detail let's say address so again we will go to our profile module then click on the edit button then change the address after that click on update and yes our details are updated so to check whether our details are updated or not we go to home then again we will click on the profile and yes here you can see our address has been successfully changed next below that we have two buttons help and exit first we will click on the help so in this user will read all the information about this app or he can listen the information as well and this is the extra feature that i have added blood bank read in this we have two fields one is the blood group and the Let's other stop now we return to our main profile and then click on the exit button so it is similar to logout button and it will ask the user are you sure want to exit and your account will be deleted permanently click on the yes button so it will delete all the data from the system of that particular user and user will log out from the system and it will automatically return to our login page and we are proud to say that we had tested this project on two to three devices to see the results whether our application is working properly or not and yes our project is running successfully so for downloading the project go to the link that given in the description and this is our main website where you can see the different projects and you can also download them this is our blood bank management system so click here to download now our payment page will open and in this project kit you can see here you will get the complete source code with the explanation including the ppt ieee paper and the documentation file in which all the explanation of the code is present then you have to enter here email address then phone number then it will open you can use any payment method as per your convenience so i have i will select qr here i will pay by using the upi or the qr and yes after successful payment it will uh, display the message that the payment is successful now now you have to wait 5 to 10 seconds until our project folder is open and yes finally we are re redirected to the drive folder and as you can see here all the project related files and this is our zip file of the project with complete source code then the ppt then this is IEEE paper and 
this one is the documentation file including the complete code explanation i have also given the links of some videos so that you can watch them and run your android project successfully at last this is our sql query file you can direct open this file from the microsoft sql server management studio if you have any doubt then mail me on my email address that given in the description of this video thank you